Hello everyone, in this short video, let's learn about the CEAP classification of varicose veins. C is clinical classification. Similarly, we have E for etiology, A for anatomy and P for the pathology of the varicose veins. Now, most of your questions are from the C or that is the clinical classification of varicose veins where it is classified from C1 to C6. Now, this is where a lot of confusion arises. So, very simple. Remember the mnemonic veins. Okay. So, all you have to do is you need to write C1 on top and start from C2 for the veins. Okay. So, C2 is V, C3 is E, C4A is I, C4B is N, C5 is S, write C6 below that. Now, if you look at the expansion of each of them, so just remember C1 is reticular veins or telangiectasia, V for varicose veins, that is C2, C3, E for edema, C4A, I for itching, that means the patient can either have eczema or pigmentation, C4B is nodular appearance of the skin, that means lipodermatosclerosis, C5 is S, that is scarring, that means it's an ulcer which is already healed, and of course, the last one will be C6, which is an active ulcer. Thank you.